Hi, my name is Ben Jensen. I'm the founder and CTO of Surrey Nano Systems, and we specialize in making super black coatings that are used in every application from space to automotive to art and consumer electronics. And the thing that makes this really interesting is that the materials are so black that they change the dimensionality and shape of an object. So this is one of our reactors. This is one of the machines that we grow Vanta Black in. We load the substrate into this chamber and then in the second chamber here is where we lay down the catalyst that we use to grow Vanta Black. And then in the third chamber over here is where the Vanta Black itself actually grows. I was working at the uh, University of Surrey developing low temperature carbon nanotube synthesis equipment. Low temperature carbon nanotube synthesis, that's growing the materials at about 450 centigrade. The rest of the world had been doing it at 700-800 centigrade. One of the things we didn't realise at the time was that, that that equipment that we developed would allow us to make the world's blackest materials, which holds the current world record as the blackest material ever created. And we developed a process for integrating it into microelectronics before anybody else had ever conceptualised the way to do that. Essentially, it's a very, very interesting structure, almost like a field of grass, but the grass is thousands of metres tall. So what happens, light gets into the grass that's made from carbon nanotubes and it bounces around a number of times. And after it's been reflected between the tubes three or four times, it's absorbed and converted to heat. And that heat is distributed to the substrate. And so it's an incredibly efficient process. The only light that gets reflected back is the light that bounces off the tips and doesn't enter the forest. The light that enters into the forest is effectively captured there permanently and dissipated as heat. We recently um, coated a building um, in South Korea for the Pyeongchang uh, 2018 Olympics. This was a derivative of the original Vanta Black called VBX2. The building was some 3,000 square meters um, in surface area and was quite unique in that in the daylight it looked like an absolute, uh, I think in the words of the architect, a schism in space. And so one of the unique features of Vanta Black, as well as being incredibly absorbent, is that it totally repels water.